Hello Reason user, this is Sassfire JS from the Spot Beats. I am using Reason 6.5. Um, today I'm going to show you how to hook up your mixer channel or your mixer to redrum. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is right click in this empty spot, go to utilities, bring up the combinator. Now, when you bring up the combinator, you might see something in here. If not, uh, the thing you want to see is initiate patch. If it's not there, right click on the device and go all the way down to reset device. And then it'll put it on initiate patch. Now, for organization reasons, I like to organize. So I'm going to re put redrum here. And redrum here. Now, always make it a habit. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is right click, go all the way down to utilities again, go all the way down to you see mixer 14.2. Click on it, and then you're going to bring that up. Next thing you want to do, in a little empty spot, right click, go all the way to instruments, go to redrums, put redrums in there. Now I'm going to show you something else. Now we're going to hook up, it's already hooked up to the mixer channel automatically when you do that. See? However, if you click here, it's there, and it's number one spot, and that's still in number one spot. The reason why you want to use mixer channel is because you want each sound to be in its own little spot. So I would want this to be at number two, this is number three. In order to do that, go to the keyboard, click tab, you're going to turn it around. If this is up, just bring it down. Then you'll see this red wire that's going into here. Just remove it. Okay? Keep everything else where it's at. Now, what you're going to do now next is you put one and one two and two, and so forth. So now what's happening is each sound is in its own um, section on the mixer channel, mixer. Once you're done, go to keyboard, click tab, it's going to turn around, and see now when you click you'll see it is in its own section. So simple. This way you can adjust if that's too loud for you like here. Maybe you want to lower it down a little bit or maybe go into the right speaker or the left speaker. However you want to do with it. Do with the mixer channel. But me, I like to do more to my drums because you know that sounds plain. These sounds plain. So I like mine to be a little funkier, so I like to use the mix channel. So I'm going to delete this device and put a, a mix channel. Go down to Utilities, go to Mix Channel, and if you right click on Mix Channel, you duplicate device, do this five times. Well, you know, you want five of these. Once you do that, you already see this one already highlighted. You want to highlight the other ones. Click Shift and click on the other ones. Then right click, go all the way down to duplicate the device. Now you have 10 of them. Okay, now, of course, you got to name them. You want to stay organized. This is one, and it's best to do that because. Once you try to hook it up, you can, you can't get confused. It happened to me, so this way you know which goes into what. I'm just putting numbers down. You can name it anywhere, any way you want to. It's just easier for me. We know it's reach rhyme, so. There, ten. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is go down. We're going to get one more mixer channel. 
Swap it out of utilities and get not get the mixer channel. And then once you do that, if if you notice that this is gray and this is green, it's different. Now this time you just put redraw. So we all know that it's connected to this. All this is connected to the redraw. Now the next thing you want to do is put your redraw in here. So let's put our redraw. Go down to instrument, two redrums. Yeah, we got redrum. Now, if you notice, everything is in the same spot right here. We don't want it there. We want each sound in its own little mix channel. So, how are we going to do that? Well, again, go click tab, turn it around, leave everything the way it is, go to 10, and put it on 10. Make sure you put it in input. Put everything in input from 9 up to 1. Of course, if you numbered it, you know you have it right. See? I just made a mistake. And I'm glad I numbered it. See? Now, 7. See? That's why you number it. Because you... That's why you organize. Because that way you know if you made a mistake or not. And you gotta redo it again. And that can be frustrating, especially if you want to just get it over with. Because this, these are parts where you just don't feel like being bothered with, but it is necessary. You're just ready to get busy with making your beats. So we have to get rid of these little small things so we can get busy. Now, if we turn it around, now in order for you guys to see it, I'm gonna. Um, click on this little arrow and bring it up to the side so that way you can make each mix channel smaller so you can see that it, it is each sound is in its own channel we're going to put it like this as you can see one if you click one click two click three click four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. See, everybody's in their own little mix channel. Now, now I'm gonna show you why I like to use the mix channel because I like to make my drums funky. So let's just say right here, I like this, right? So I'm gonna take click on this section here, number five. Just put like, you know, just, I'm just putting stuff randomly. Click run. Like, oh yeah. So now you want to make that a little funky. First of all, I'm going to use, I'm going to go down here to create, um, uh, creative effects. Use polar visor. And listen to that. See? It's harder, and you can, if you're familiar with polarizer, then you know you can do a lot to it. You know, it right now is on basic, but you put on base. See, each sound can be different. Maybe you want to make the tone a bass tone or a guitar, add a little part of guitar to it. You still got the the um the drum, the ton drum, but still you got a little guitar fuzz up in there. You hear it? So let's just use that. So we want that, right? So now let's just go here to the to number two. section and maybe we want to just do this We're like okay so then you go here to two and let's say oh let's go to creative fx and i'm going to add a little echo Thank you. 